right-wing Republican revolt is now moving into its third day in the U.S. House. Congressman Kevin McCarthy still does not have the speaker's job that he wants. ABC 7 political analyst Laura Washington joins us live now to talk a little bit more about this. Good morning to you. Happy morning, New Year to you, morning, Laura. Good morning. Okay, so McCarthy has lost six straight votes. Why so much opposition? The, the right wing, conservative wing of his party, they do not want to work with him. They do not want to work with anyone associated with him. And they're basically saying, uh, never Kevin. And so he, they, he's really stuck. He just, he needs like close to 20 more votes than he's yeah. But why don't they want to work with him? Because they, they, they feel that he has not been sufficiently uh, supportive of their conservative okay. perspective. He hasn't been supportive of enough of, of their candidates. You know, a lot of these, these contested races in some of these red states, there's a, often a more conservative, more Trump-like candidate in the race, and he feel, they feel like he hasn't mm. been supportive enough of that. How long can he keep this up? Well, he says he and his supporters say they're going to keep it up as long as it takes. They think they're going to be able to wear the opposition down. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be weeks from now. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, is there anybody else in the wings that, that could potentially be the House Speaker? There have been a number of people mentioned. Steve Scalise, the representative from Louisiana, most frequently mentioned, but he is also an associate of McCarthy, so it's not clear that he would be able to get the votes either. Yeah. So would McCarthy just have to bow out and then? I think, I think that eventually he's going to have to walk away, but again, there's no heir apparent right now, so this could go on even longer. Yeah. I want to get to the mayor's race, Laura. Uh, Lori Lightfoot released her first attack ad uh, that goes after Chewy Garcia. We actually have a little bit of it. Let's take a look. What do we really know about Chewy Garcia? Chewy secretly talked with this crypto crook who stole his customer's life savings. All right, uh, so, so what should we read into this? Uh, does, does the mayor see trouble in, in her reelection bid? I think clearly she does. An, an incumbent at this point should be touting her own record this early in the race, because we have a couple months. But instead, she sees uh, Chewy Garcia as being a formidable opponent. That's what the polls have been saying, so she wants to bring his positives down and bring them down quickly. Yeah. All right, Laura Washington, always some good uh, insight for <laughs> yep. us this morning. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.